Hello ladies and gentlemen. In classical music, one is often asked to name a definitive performance of a certain piece. It is customary to answer that there is no definitive performance and that there is a variety of performances which are all worthwhile. It's a good stonewalling diplomacy, which seems like it should offend no one. But to me, it is a counterproductive answer, for it does not reveal what I strongly feel about this discussion that it is a wrong question to ask. This way of talking implies that we have an idea of what a definitive performance should do, but we fail because the task is too big. The task being to make a performance of a piece that represents it perfectly in all of its aspects that we judge salient or important. Well, I don't think that this task is what we should strive for. We should accept that composition and performance are two different, both valuable uh, areas of artistic endeavor. And that in the performance of a composition, by showing one thing, we are obscuring another, and that that is perfectly fine. We do not live in a world where we only ever hear a piece once. You don't expect to read a poem once, never read it again, and understand all of its meaning and all of its allusions. So why should a performance in music try to transmit all that there is to transmit about a piece in one go. I know that I'm putting myself into dissonance with the whole world of so-called music criticism, which operates on the basis that if in a performance there is some element of the work that it does not represent, it is not perfect. For me, that may be a valid criticism for a composition, but not for a performance. Let's experience each performance for the elements that it does contain. And if we want to judge, let's ask ourselves if we feel that the performance made those elements worthwhile and satisfying to us. So when I think, oh, how I wish this performance would just be a little more this or a little more that, how that would make the whole thing so much more beautiful, more perfect or more meaningful, I tell myself, actually, that's great. I'm now motivated to listen to the piece again, to try to find that little thing, and I just convinced myself of the piece's uh, greater beauty, perfection, and meaningfulness. And that, to me, is what humility of the interpreter with respect to the composer means. Doing something that makes the composer look good, regardless of what you make people think of your own performance. So here is a little piece out of another uh, secret film from a concert I gave. It is, on the face of it, a bad performance because lots of technical stuff went wrong. But I think it made the piece speak in a memorable way.
So go look around here for some performance of a piece that you really like, listen to it and ask yourself, did the performance make you experience anew your love of the piece? If so, let's call it a good performance.